What's going on, everybody? It's Chronic here, and um, I'm starting a new series right now. It's the first episode, so I hope you all are excited, as excited as I am. And this series is going to be over video, the history of video games, which I'm sure most of you are pretty interested in. It's an interesting topic to me, so I looked it up, and there's a lot of information, so I thought I'd share some of it with you guys. And sorry for the long video, but there's quite a bit to get through today. And in today's episode... We're going through the years of 1952 to 1976. All right, we'll start off in 1952. All right, so in 1952, A.S. Douglas wrote his Ph. degree at the University of Cambridge on human human computer interaction, how humans and computers interact with each other, pretty much. If that, if you didn't understand that when I first said it, and he was also the uh. A.S. Douglas also created the first graphical computer game. It was pretty much just a version of Tic-Tac-Toe, which isn't anything special. It's not hard or anything. And this game was programmed on an EDSAC vacuum tube computer. And here's a little background information on the EDSAC vacuum tube computer. I did a little bit of research, and found out that EDSAC stands for Electronic Delay Storage Automatic Calculator. And it was an early British computer built by Maurice Wilkes. It used a mercury delay used mercury delay lines for memory and uh derated vacuum tubes for logic. Input was via a five hole punched tape and output was via a teleprinter. It was first limited to a accumulator and a multiplier register as a type of CPU. In 1953, David Wheeler came back from the University of Illinois with his newly designed index register as an extension to the original EDSAC hardware. <coughs> next, we're going to move on to the next topic. William Higginbotham created the first ever video game in 1958. I know that there was a game created before, but it wasn't technically a video game. The one that William Higginbotham made was technically the first video game. And he called this game Tennis for Two. It was played on a Brookhaven National Laboratory oscilloscope. The oscilloscope looks kind of like an old-time radar that you'd see in movies and I'm gonna put a picture around here somewhere so that you can see what it looks like um, in 1962 Steve Russell invented Space War Space War was the first game intended for computer use use he used a MIT PDP-1 mainframe computer to design this game it looks a lot like the Brookhaven National Laboratory Oscilloscope, which, like I said before, there's going to be a picture in here somewhere. In 1967, Ralph Baer wrote the first video game to ever be played on a TV. This game was called Chase. Ralph Baer first thought of this idea in 1951 while working for Laurel, which is a TV company. In 1971, Nolan Bushnell, along with Ted Dabney, created the first arcade game. This game was called Computer Space. Computer Space was roughly based on Steve Russell's popular game Space War. Nolan Bushnell, a year later in 1972, also created Pong with the help from Al Alcorn. Nolan Bushnell and Ted Dabney also started Atari computers this in this same year that Pong was created, which is 1972. The first commercial video game console called Odyssey was released by Magnavox or Magnavo and designed by Ralph Baer. The Odyssey came programmed with 12 games pre pretty much pre-installed on it. And I looked around on the internet for a while um, while I was doing all this research, and I couldn't figure out what those 12 games were. If anybody knows, that would be cool. Just, like, put the link in the comments or something. And I'll put it somewhere in this video, an annotation or whatever. 
In 1975, Atari Computers re-released Pong as a home video game, in the which instead of just being a game by itself, it was an actual system that had that game only on it. And most of you should know what a Pong looks like, or else you're not a real gamer. <laughs> if you don't know what it looks like, then you can look it up on Google. It's pretty much just a a control pad with a knob on it that would make a paddle go up or down. You bounce the ball in between two people. Um, Larry Krusman, probably butchering that name, was the first owner and operator of an arcade. He's written this quote about video games. The brilliance of these machines was that Nolan Bushnell and the company took what was computer programming in Space Wars and translated it into a simpler version of the game with no gravity using hardwired logic circus, circuits. The printed circuit boards that comprise electronics of these games are integrated circuits called small scale integrated circuits. They consist of discrete logic chips and gates or gates. 4 line to 16 line decoders, etc. Straight out of the Texas Instruments catalog. The shape of the rocket ship and flying saucer even are visible in a pattern of diodes on the PC board. And found that quote online from this guy that was the first owner of an arcade. And on to the last area that I'm going to talk about. And I might actually have quite a bit of time left. Well, in um, 1976, Fairchild released the first programmable home game console called the Fair Fairchild Video Entertainment System, which was later renamed Channel F. Channel F was one of the first electronic systems to use the newly invented microchip, which was invented by Robert Noyce from the Fairchild Semiconductor Corporation. This microchip allowed video games to not be limited by the number of TTL switches. If you don't know what TTL means, it's transistor to logic. And that's the end of the first episode, so stay if you want to watch the rest of the gameplay or not, and subscribe because the next episode is going to be coming up in the next couple days and i'll see you guys later bye